This is your Bible. This is your Bible on psychotherapy. Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Job. Job was awesome. Satan crashed a meeting between the Lord and his angels. God, where'd you come from? Satan. Oh, you know. God, check out my man Job. He's awesome. Satan. Sure he is. Take away his toys and he'll hate you. God, it's on. You do it. Just don't hurt him. Went down like this. Sabians took his oxen and asses and killed his servants. Fire of God burned up his sheep and more servants. Chaldeans took his camels and killed even more servants. Tornado killed all his kids. Job fell down and praised the Lord. God. Word. Satan. Oh, you know. God, check out my man Job. Still awesome. Even after I let you trash his crib. Satan. That's just stuff. Make it hurt and he'll hate you big time. God, it's on. But don't kill him. Satan went nuts on Job and gave him boils all over. Job's wife. You're pathetic. Curse God and die. Job, no, you're pathetic, and Job remained awesome. Job's boys, Eliphaz, Bildad, and Zophar rode in. Job looked like crap, so they cried and carried on. Then they all sat there for a week and no one said a freaking word. Then it all happened. Job, I wish I was never born. Eliphaz, you must have done something to piss God off. Job, nice. Even my friends don't believe me. Can't sleep, body looks like a rotting corpse. God, why me? Bildad, tell him you're sorry. If you're innocent, he'll fix everything. Job, if you don't know what I've done wrong, how do you know I'm suffering punishment for wrongdoing? Checkmate! God, why did you let me be born if you knew this was gonna happen? So far, he's taking it easy on you. You deserve twice as much for what you've done. Whatever it is. Job, oh, you're so smart. You guys are the worst friends ever. God, please make it stop. Eliphaz. Stop trying to justify yourself. You're gonna make it worse. Joe, I would have treated you guys better if the tables were turned. It's not my fault. Is too. Is not. Is anyone taking notes here? So far. You know, Joe, the wicked always get what's coming to them. Joe, liars! Eliphaz, you're not so great. I've seen you do some stuff. Joe, I'm sorry I'm nagging. I just wish I could talk to him in person, but I don't know where he lives. Still bad. You can't talk directly to God. Joe, you guys are losers. I used to have it so good. Now everything sucks. Eli, who? All four of you suck. God. Jump back, Jack. I made this whole place. How dare you correct me? Joe, I'll shut up now. God, I made one of these. You think there's anything I can't do? Joe, I've never seen one of those. God, don't talk back. Joe, I'm sorry. God, don't worry. About it. You three make me sick. Go sacrifice seven bulls and seven rams. And God gave Job all his stuff back and more. Joe, can I have my children back too? God, not the same ones. That would require cloning, and that's just wrong. And God gave him seven more sons and three daughters. And the Holy Spirit said, What do you think? And God said, I hate this. 42 chapters. Nothing happens except at the beginning and the end. Where's the hitch, the twist, the complication? It's a nightmare. It didn't really happen like this, did it? I'm gone for 40 chapters. A lot of people are going to see this. The Holy Spirit said, I could beef it up, make the character stronger, give you a twist, but you might not like it. And the Lord said, just fix it. So the Holy Spirit brought in an angelic time-traveling social worker and said, this is full of idiots. Give me some action, discovery, balls. Do what you need to do. Your job's on the line. We go to print tomorrow. Satan went nuts on Job and gave him boils all over. Job's wife. The social worker yanked Job's wife out of space and time and showed her all the good times she and Job had had with their children. She said, you've both been through a terrible tragedy. Nothing can replace your family, and you can't be expected to pick up and carry on like nothing's happened. But you can choose which well to draw your next action from, your well of anger or your well of grief. And Job's wife's heart broke under the weight of her loss. The social worker said, go. Job's wife. Job, I know you want to be alone right now, but I'm hurting too. I'm here if you need me, and I love you. Eliphaz, Bildad, and Zophar rode in. They cried and they sat there for an hour. Then Job's wife came out in tears and said, What the hell are you guys doing? This is not Knights of the Round Table. This is our life in ruins. Either make yourselves useful or get out. They were jarred to their feet. Eliphaz went and collected food from the neighbors. Bildad knew a doctor and fetched him to treat Job's boils and make him more comfortable. Zophar had friends in law enforcement and they went to question the Sabaeans and the Chaldeans. They leaned on them and asked who the ringleaders were. The Sabaeans said, Satan made us do it. The Chaldeans said, Yeah, us too. The social workers said, hmm. The social worker visited Satan's office in hell. Satan said, what can I do to you for you? You know, that skirt really accentuates your figure. She said, you could start by forgetting it. It's never going to happen. You're out of your league. Then you can explain this to me. And she dropped the files on his desk. He said, I have no knowledge of this operation. <clears throat> Okay, it's my initiative, but I'm just following orders. It's all procedural. She said, whose orders? Satan said, can't help you on that. And he squirmed like a grade schooler who hadn't used the bathroom all day. Then she saw meeting with Yahweh on his calendar. Mm-hmm. He said, cocktail? She said, get lost. The social worker dimension hopped her way to heaven and said, I want to see God. The secretary said, say a prayer like everyone else. The social worker said, I'll wait. She sat down. At end of business, God came out and said, oh, hey, how's that thing going? Love that skirt. She said, how was your meeting with Satan? He come up here or you go down there? God said, you don't expect me to never talk to him, do you? Excuse me, I'm on my way out. She said, who's winning? How does Job feel about it? And the Lord said unto the social worker, I don't like your tone. I made you, didn't I? I could kill you. She looked him in the eye. We go to print tomorrow. And God said, I do what I want to do. And he walked out. She said, not a problem. The 
social worker came out of Job's house and drove away with a smile on her face. Job saw her and went inside. He said, who was that? His wife was sobbing. He said, what's wrong? She handed him a manuscript titled Job, and Job read about the inside bet being waged between Satan and God over his faithfulness. He flipped his lid. He said, what the f***? Hello? Job said, who do you think you are? And Satan said, oh shit, um, you're calling for Satan? Hold on, I'll put you through. Dr. William Lane Craig is not available at the tone. Job slammed the phone down and said to his wife, me and the boys are taking a trip. If we're not back by tomorrow, send this to WikiLeaks and every whistleblowing organization you can find. And they suited up. and the social worker gave them a ride to heaven. God's boardroom, and God said, what are you doing here? This is a closed meeting. And Job said, door was open. Satan's here. Seems pretty open to me. God said, well, we can't continue the meeting if you're here. Job said, I am not your plaything. I am not a meter to check to see how much you're being worshipped and adored. And this asshole couldn't do a damn thing to me if you weren't okay with it. You son of a bitch. And the Lord said unto Job, <laughs> You make me laugh. You'd think you can walk in here with your wrecking crew and tell me how to run my universe? And he fried them all. The Holy Spirit said, If I may, this may not be your best solution. God retorted, Who asked you? And don't give me the whole publication thing. We'll scrap the whole Job section. Screw it. And the Holy Spirit said, Well, sure, you can scrap the whole Bible. You've got references to Job. Let's see here. Ezekiel, then your New Testament. James, a lot of the other epistles. Pops up in the Quran. Some other pseudepigraphy books. Then the LDS guys have him in the DNC. And the Lord said, okay, okay. The Holy Spirit said, like I said, or... And God revived Job and his boys. He said, what do you want? And Job said, I want my family back. The Lord said, Job, I was really counting on carving out a spot for you, being the guy with the most patience in history. But you're making things difficult. I don't want to have to go with someone else on this. Job said, I have patience for mistakes. I have patience for accidents. I have patience for plain old bad luck. I have no patience for deliberate, elaborate, sadistic circle jerk in which my very creator conspires with the one entity into whom he has poured all evil to make me the star of a Machiavellian puppet show written just to test my loyalty to your perfection. You made my ass. You can either respect it or kiss it. And Job walked out of heaven. Then the Holy Spirit pulled an all-nighter and laid the revised Job on the Lord's desk in the morning. God read it and paused. You know, this is really incredible. I thought this was going to make me look bad, but the part where he tries to kill me and it has no effect on me is pretty cool. And I've got some great lines. This really has jazz. The only part we have to change is where I resurrect Job's original children. That cloning issue. Too sticky. And the Holy Spirit said, sorry, it's already gone to print. Then the Holy Spirit left and ran into the social worker in the elevator. He said, nice job. Love that skirt. She said, want to have a cocktail?